Welcome to our YouTube channel. While a parent's love is often seen as unwavering, the animal kingdom paints a different picture. Surviving in a competitive environment can lead to surprisingly harsh and sometimes cruel parental behavior. We're about to discover 10 fascinating stories of the toughest animal parents, from mothers who exhibit shocking behavior, such as burying their own offspring, to fathers who display unexpected aggression affecting their own offspring. As you immerse yourself in this content, prepare to be surprised by the complexity of these parental roles. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join our community, and don't forget to like this video if you're ready to embark on this eye-opening journey. When researching alligators, an interesting phenomenon emerges, cannibalism. Unlike typical wildlife cases, which occur due to food scarcity and avoidance of relatives, the American alligator stands out in this regard. In a study conducted in Florida, 56 of 167, mature alligators were found to have eaten tagged young alligators. Over 90% of these ingested juveniles were under the age of three, highlighting just how bad parents these adults are. This is not surprising. Alligators lack parental instincts. Pandas, those fluffy and cute creatures, hold a dark secret. They are terrible parents. You probably weren't aware of this when you received that panda plushie as a gift. The widely propagated image of their adorableness is just a facade, a testament to skillful misleading and marketing. Despite their endearing appearance, pandas stand among the worst animal parents on Earth. Despite often having twins, they typically show little care for more than one cub. In the realm of parenting, pandas redefine neglect, favoring the stronger cub while disregarding the weaker one. This isn't necessarily malevolent. It's due to the insufficient nutrients in their preferred food, bamboo. With its low nutritional value, nursing two cubs becomes impossible. While zoos step in to care for abandoned cubs, wild pandas must navigate life mostly on their own. It's a challenging cycle where our interventions ironically hinder their readiness for the world. Pandas indeed qualify as nature's neglectful parents. Black bears, often seen as dedicated parents in the animal world, don't fit the mold. They fall short when it comes to maternal instincts. Black bear mothers take no nonsense. If a cub appears too small, sickly, or weak, they might resort to killing them. While this might sound harsh, black bear mamas go to great lengths to protect their favored and strongest cub. Unfortunately, if you're the runt of the litter, your odds of survival are slim. It's not that black bears lack love for their cubs. It's more about favoritism, which doesn't bode well for any mother. This unequal treatment isn't ideal, particularly if you happen to have a tendency to harm your own offspring. Tasmanian devils, often associated with Looney Tunes, prove even more unpredictable and unfit as parents than you'd expect. These creatures possess the world's strongest bite, capable of consuming everything including bones. With survival rates under 10%, these little devils are raised to be fierce. Mothers give birth to up to 50 pups, but can only feed four due to their limited breasts. Thus, only a small fraction survives, operating on a first-come, first-served basis. While not deliberately poor parents, Tasmanian devils lack the necessary equipment for proper child care, leaving half the parenting task unfulfilled. Black Eagle mothers epitomize detached parenting, known for keeping their distance from their own offspring. When squabbles arise among their young, these eagles often choose to remain aloof, uninvolved in the altercations. While this nest-based rivalry is typical for black eagle chicks, it's easier for the mother to allow them to engage in eye-pecking battles. There's a hint of relatability here. 
as many of us can think of human mothers with similar attitudes. Though humans usually opt for wine over nest-side bedding and prevent their children from harming one another unlike the black eagles, in the black eagle's perspective, intervening might save the weaker chick, but that's unlikely to ensure its survival. Hence, the mother adopts a ruthless fight to the death mentality, spectating and perhaps placing bets on which of her offspring will emerge victorious. While most parents would promptly step in to halt their kids' fights, those who wouldn't might not see their children too often nowadays. Lionesses don't exactly enjoy the best motherhood reputation, largely due to the intricate family dynamics that define lion prides. It's a far cry from the structured chaos of human families. Like mothers across species, lionesses fiercely protect their cubs. Yet, here's where it gets complex. Lion prides often uphold a hierarchical structure with one dominant leader. When a younger, stronger lion assumes leadership, a disturbing practice unfolds. The new leader eradicates the offspring of his predecessor. And the lioness? She steps aside and lets it happen. Lionesses perceive defeated males as inferior, rendering the genes of the cub's father undesirable. It's undoubtedly harsh. Are lionesses the most neglectful parents? Perhaps not, but their maternal sense is decidedly skewed. In a lion pride, a degree of ruthlessness is almost essential. After all, kindness doesn't pave the way to ruling the jungle. Parenting is undoubtedly challenging, and selecting the standout child is even tougher. Unless you're a hooded grebe, in which case it's surprisingly straightforward, the South American hooded grebe lays two eggs, incubating them with its mate on floating nests. Here's where it gets interesting. As soon as the first egg hatches, all three chicks desert the nest, leaving the second egg to fend for itself. Will this abandoned hatchling make it on its own? Survival's in its own tiny hands. Neglect isn't malicious in the hooded grabe's world. It's driven by a quest for successful breeding, laying more eggs than they can care for. Once the initial chick emerges, these birds become dedicated parents. So, would you opt for a hooded grebe as a mother? It hinges on whether you're born first or second. Either way, the experience is bound to be quite unique. Cuckoos, particularly the kaku, are infamous for their terrible parenting methods. They're essentially fans of a secretive stepmother scheme, a concept that in human terms could be called illegal. Instead of raising their own offspring, cuckoos deceive other birds into rearing their chicks. This is how it unfolds. Cuckoos lay eggs in the nests of unsuspecting birds. These birds then nurture the cuckoo chicks, unaware of their troublesome nature. These cuckoo chicks grow faster, outcompeting and expelling the host bird's own chicks from the nest to perish, a rather grim outcome. Interestingly, the cuckoo's unscrupulous behavior remained hidden until fairly recently, when nature documentaries unveiled their dark side. In essence, this bird resembles the deadbeat dad of the avian world. It might be time to rethink our perception of these seemingly harmless cuties. Darwin frogs' cuteness aside, they face an added challenge in the wild, dealing with neglectful parents. These endangered miniature frogs, underscoring our video's theme, are far from model parents. Female Darwin frogs lay around 40 eggs and then essentially call it quits. Parenting? Not their forte. Instead, males step up, guarding the eggs for up to three weeks until they shift. Prior to hatching, the male consumes roughly 15 eggs, safeguarding them. Upon developing into froglets, he regurgitates them into murky water. Not the most pleasant sight, but this process is crucial for the tadpoles' growth. Regrettably, this cycle of neglect continues in the subsequent generation of Darwin frogs. Skinks, 
typically devoted mothers, face a paradoxical situation. If they believe their egg clutch is threatened by too many predators, they resort to an unconventional tactic, eating their own eggs. This seemingly contradictory behavior aims to safeguard both themselves and their offspring from predators. The logic behind this strategy remains perplexing, possibly more of an I did it first impulse. It's a baffling choice. What kind of mother readily resorts to killing her own offspring? And there you have it. A glimpse into the intriguing world of some of the worst animal parents. From surprising choices to bizarre behaviors, nature's parenting playbook is far from predictable. Which of these parenting styles left you the most astonished? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating insights into the animal kingdom. Until next time.